This is absolutely one of those weeks that I could use a 90-minute show, but we don't have it. We only have 30. What's happening now? Tell me what's happening now in your life. Well, right now I'm uh, working with the University of uh, Duquesne University, and I'm doing some classes there. I'm working. We have a think tank that we helped create while I was still at the Western uh, Pittsburgh mm -hmm. SCI, and. Uh, you know, it's about restorative justice. It's about reaching back and trying to help some of those that I, from all the years of being there, mm -hmm. know deserve, I know that they deserve a, a second chance. Uh, when I left prison, it took all I had. I walked out the door with tears in my eyes, some of the guys I had to leave, that I knew deserved, and some of them may be more deserving than I was. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, through circumstances, I just was the first one to make it out. But I know there's some behind me that should make it out. That and should so, make it out. Yeah. with that think tank over there at Duquesne University, we are doing a lot of things. We're actually trying to create uh, some halfway houses. Uh, you know, we're watching all what's happening with a lot of the men that helped us create that. We have a book out that's called Life Sentences that six lifers wrote. And, you know, I'd like to mention that. It's out right now, and it's called Life Sentences. And it's, it's getting some good reviews. Okay. It's a very interesting book to, to the read. The stories that they tell. And is that like on Amazon kind of thing? Yes, you can get it on Amazon. Okay. Let's get Mark in here. So now, Mark, Robbie's doing all these constructive things, but at the same time, the fight that you have undertaken through him isn't over in its own way. No, it's, it's the problem is, as I started, there are hundreds if not thousands of people in jail for felony murder. It shouldn't be around in Pennsylvania. The pardon board, you know, can take up these cases, but the, you know, it's like, it's like you're, 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 you're bailing out water as somebody's pouring in more water. Mm. You know, I don't think Kayla Roy Irvis would be terribly proud of this legislature. Uh, because it doesn't handle this or many other things. I mean, this is something that the pardon board can't do on its own. Uh, it has to do it on a case-by-case -case basis. Um, this is something that the legislature needs to do. Josh Shapiro, the attorney general, I understand, has put in a bill that's gone nowhere. And also, I think the courts have to look at this. I mean, maybe it takes a case in front of the Supreme Court in terms of their king's bench powers to say, wait a second. Felony murder is uniquely inapplicable to our criminal justice system. So there's just a lot of work done. You know, we're warehousing old, you know, we're warehousing thousands of Robbie Weidmans. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So before we go, I know the Morena family, which is the family of, the, of Nicholas Morena, they've always been against your being released. Um, in fact, I interviewed. Uh, his sister just a couple weeks before you are released. When you look back on where you are now, are you at peace? Uh, well, I'll never be at peace that uh, Nick lost his life. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, I, you know, I lost my son that we talked about. Mm -hmm. And I know how that feels. And, and so I think I can say that I, I can empathize with his hmm. sister. And, you know, I can never tell them how they should feel. I, I can't tell them whether they should hate me or wish bad for me ever. But I can tell them this, that, you know, uh, forgiveness hmm. is the only way out of that. Mm -hmm. And carrying that around, I wish, I pray that they didn't have to carry that load of that that anger and that hatred because, uh, you know, it, it'll eat them. It ate me for a while about the guys that killed my son, but I got over it. I actually have forgotten their names. Hmm. If you ask me what their names were, there was three of them that mm -hmm. shot my son down in his girlfriend's house. I don't remember don't their, names their names because I've let them go because I got to for myself. Mm -hmm. You know, so we forgive for ourselves, not those that 
me for years. Indeed, and that's a perfect place for us to end. Robbie Weidman in Pittsburgh, Mark Schwartz in Philadelphia. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining us. I wish we had more time, but we thank don't. You. And don't forget, this is no. all online. Go to kdka.com slash LHF show. You can watch it again. It's a story that I suspect we need to do more on, and we'll have to figure out a way to do it. Have a great weekend. We'll see you next week.